God is a source of guidance. I once read a quote that said, a lot of people have been more successful than they thought because there was once one person who believed that they can do it. And what would you think if you had also read it or heard it? The truth is that finding the right guidance is extremely important to each of us. Advice we receive through meetings is extremely valuable, so valuable that no book can provide it. So think for a moment and answer these questions. Who is truly capable of guiding your thoughts, your attitudes, your desires, and the things that you aspire to accomplish? Is your life guided by somebody? Are you living with feelings and emotions that are ambiguous or unclear? Indeed, if you are in this situation, you will have true stability in your life because you will do everything with uncertainty and lack a clear direction. Now, be true to yourself and face God with confidence. We are Christians who follow God. We all want to live holy and good lives. We all want to be on the right path. Therefore, God is the one that we need to talk with. God is looking at us with love. He does not want us to live in confusion and uncertainty. Right now, let us think of God. Think of his presence because he is the only true source of guidance we trust in all situations. James verse 1 chapter 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Yes, God's guidance is revealed in God's provision of wisdom for all of us. He makes no distinction between the old and the young. He makes no distinctions between rank or social class. His wisdom is for those who truly desire to have it. His wisdom guides us and instructs us on how to use the good gifts that God has bestowed upon us. His wisdom directs us to the right action on the path towards a good and holy life. But first, we have to pass through the stages, the difficult situations that God sets for us. For example, suppose you are successful at work and earn a huge amount of money. Then you do not know what you will do with it. Spend it on useless things or save it. Surely, standing in front of this case, you will have a lot of thoughts on your mind. And if you choose to use some of that money to volunteer to help others and the rest for saving, I believe you have received a little bit of wisdom from God because you have listened to God's instructions about loving others and sharing with others. God has kindled the fire of love within you. You have given up selfishness, narrowness, and you are especially strong enough to overcome the temptations of the outside world. As a result, you are on a path filled with joy. Your soul will feel more relaxed and at peace than ever before. Therefore, all we have to do on our next journey is always align our lives and our actions with God's wisdom. God always expects us to follow his instructions and wants us to be good every day. In response to his call, let us continue to call on him to fill our minds and hearts with wisdom. Be humble and trust in God. Please walk in faith and love and hope for the right things that God directs. Please obey him and keep what he teaches in your heart because surely you will always walk in goodness. Psalms 32 verse 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. God will teach us how to make the right decisions. We will have the right answers in time for us to act. This is very good if we focus on hearing the word of God and the spirit of God within us. Let us think of the times when you had to make important decisions regarding your life. It could be looking for a new job to help you support yourself. 
It could be starting a new business with a large investment, or it could be your decision to enter into a married life with a new husband that you will live with forever. What were you thinking during these important moments? Do you remember God and his call for advice and guidance? No matter what job you are doing, and no matter who you are, please always trust that God is with you when you are making decisions. Indeed, when each of us enters a very difficult situation, we desperately need the voice of God. And I believe God is watching our every step. He is silent, but that does not mean that he is ignoring us. God, I'm not sure if this is a good job. God, are the partners I do business with trustworthy? Does my boyfriend have something to hide or lie to me about God before this wedding day? Be quiet and keep your eyes on God. Let his word enter our minds. I believe that each of us will find a voice that comes from within. This is good for you. Or stop and think hard. Do not be hasty in your decision. If our lives are intimately united with God, we will easily feel God's words with us. We do not have to look for answers in a faraway place. Instead, let us seek guidance from God. We can all solve problems more easily with God's help, instead of relying solely on our uncertain minds. Making decisions in the presence of God will bring us a sense of peace. We have faith in Him, because He always wants good things to come for us. Isaiah 30 verse 21 says, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Do you believe that the word of God is a light to guide your steps? Do you believe that God will always help you on the right path that you should go on? Let me tell you something. You and me, we all need to walk with God. This is the right way, so follow it. God knows what you are looking for at all times, and he will know how to lead you to the good things that you are aspiring to do. If you don't know which way to go, he will tell you and point you in the right direction. Before you do anything, you will hear a voice in your mind saying that this is the way you should go. Be strong, be strong, and move forward. You know he leads us from every thought to every action. He is always present in all situations, especially when we need him the most. God lives within us, and we need to trust and obey his commands. Have we ever wondered what causes us to get into trouble? Have we ever wondered why we keep taking the wrong paths? Why do these things happen to us, but not to others? Is it because we do not listen to God's instructions? That's right. In all things, we must not forget the presence of God. We want to make all directions to the good life, but we only base our thinking on ourselves. We all want to make sure that we have good plans for our lives, but we lack God's guidance. The truth is, we were wrong. We know that we cannot fully understand what is going to happen in our life, and we are not really capable of controlling or managing our own lives. There will be times when we go in the wrong direction. There will be times when we face difficulties as a result of the absence of an important guide, God. And then, after all, we will realize that God and God alone is the true source of guidance. He will protect me and teach me how to live a happy life. He will not lose wisdom. He will not lose clarity about the goals and plans we set because of God's guidance. Because we believe that God always plans the right direction for each of our lives.